what happens when all the loads in the grid shut down immediately or if there is a surge in the loads in the grid the grid will collapse and if the grid collapses that's the worst that can happen you have to erase the board completely and start the math from the beginning okay there are two main parameters which has to be taken care for the grid not to collapse one is the voltage and second is the frequency i'll tell you one thing this is where i live and i get back home by 6 in the evening in a summer day and i plan to switch on my ac when i switch on my ac my ac says there is low voltage that's because every other people in this community has switched on their ac so the voltage of this particular grid went down because the demand has risen there's one more thing which is the frequency see this picture on screen on one side of the scale is demand and on the other side is the generation the demand and the generation has to be equal for the frequency to be maintained at 50 hertz what happens if the demand goes on the higher side the frequency of the grid goes below 50 and if the generation goes higher and if the demand goes down the frequency goes higher than 50 hertz this is what happens okay have these two points in your mind and now let's discuss it connecting to solar there are some states in india only some as of now have taken measures to control this imagine if i'm a guy sitting in a power station of a state and if this state is powered by let's say thermal or nuclear or whatever and i am sitting in the control tower okay when i see this state is having higher frequency and also voltage which means there is a generation which is more than the demand of the state so what i do is i reduce my generation so the frequency is again maintained to 50 hertz okay what if the frequency goes down me sitting in the control tower will adjust it accordingly so that the frequency again comes back to the 50 hertz but we guys install solar okay one street has 10 houses and all the 10 houses installed solar and at one point of time 50% of the state has installed solar so now what happens i'm not having the control of the grid i'm not having the control of what is happening in the grid because there are other sources which are also generating power and this is the reason why the government the state government or the electricity department of that particular state insists you to set your inverter to 49.5 hertz to 52. Point, yes they give you a value 10% lower than 50 and some percentage higher the numbers differ so i'm not able to give you the correct number and also with the voltage they tell you okay it should be 10 percentage below the said voltage and 10 percentage above the said voltage because when you set this um numbers in your inverter and when the grid fluctuates like if the frequency of the grid goes low which means the demand is going uh, higher then what happens is the solar inverter strip so that this person sitting in the main control tower of the power house is able to control the entire grid and make it stable again so this is very important and we really appreciate those state governments which are handling um this in a better way like for example kerala in kerala to install a solar inverter you will have to set the inverter at this particular frequency so that it trips when this happens and at this particular voltage so that it trips immediately when that happens the reason is because they want to maintain a grid stability when there is a sudden outage in the entire load so we don't want our grid to go collapse which is a worst situation that can happen to the grid and uh, these parameters have to be set in your inverter as told by your state governments to make sure our system runs perfectly without disturbing the grid